The Jaguars are on the road this week, their latest win placing them eighth in next year's draft. The Falcons also pulled off a West Coast upset last week that currently would have them picking 12th. Predictions on this Southeast battle in a moment. First though, let's crunch some numbers. Gardner Minshew, to the dismay of Oakland's faithful, showed he still has some magic to spread around this season. Minshew caught for the touchdown, Conley! Minshew threw two TDs, the second, the final TD pass Raider fans will ever see in person in Oakland. They were not happy about that. Minshew pushed his passer rating for the season into the above average territory, taking advantage of what has been a bad Raiders pass defense. Well, Atlanta's hasn't been much better, so Minshew might be able to keep it going this week. They've allowed a 99.5 passer rating on the season and are ranked 23rd in passing yards per game allowed. They also don't offer up much of a pass rush, which means Minshew should have plenty of time when he drops back. The Jags' ability to get to the QB, on the other hand, is likely their best weapon at slowing down Matt Ryan and company. And from behind, they got him. Coitro comes through and gets him. The Jaguars sacked Derek Carr four times, which is no easy task, being Carr is one of the hardest QBs to get to. Ryan, though, is not. The Falcons are tied for the seventh most sacks allowed this season. If they don't get to him, though, it could be another big game for Julio Jones. Touchdown, Julio Jones! Jones scored twice, the last one the game winner, and caught 13 passes for 136 yards. The Falcons are one of many teams that pretty much rely on the pass to move the ball. They're fourth in passing yards per game, and Ryan's passer rating is a solid 93.5. The Jaguars' defense has generally been a mess on most fronts, and their pass D is no exception. While they played admirably against the Raiders last week, their passer rating allowed for the year is 96.1. And they've especially struggled at preventing big pass plays, tied for 25th and giving up 20 plus yard pass plays. But their biggest defensive flaw is along the ground, where they give up a whopping 5.2 yards per carry. However, they really stepped up last week against Josh Jacobs. The Falcons, on the other hand, only ran it 20 times last week, but with a few Ryan scrambles helping them pump their stats up a bit, they finished with a 4.5 yard per carry average. So consider this a weakness versus weakness, or as it's often called, the X factor. So which team follows up their West Coast upset with another victory? We've covered plenty of numbers, so let's finally get to those predictions. Third and eight, a chance for the Panther defense, and wide open, Olamide Zacchaeus, he's gonna go Zacchaeus, touchdown Falcons! 